Hey, and welcome back to Denny Talks About College. Uh, it's story time again. So before I do that, I want to point out I found my Ghostbusters shirt. So I decided to throw that on for this video. Who are you going to call? Right. Okay, so it's story time again. So I want to talk about that strange professor. Uh, Okay, so there's a professor that, again, I'm not going to name this individual by name, but we'll just say the individual's last name was an auto manufacturer, so we will call her Dr. Lincoln, but that's not it. So anyway, when I was in high school, um, it was a fairly small community, and I kept hearing stories about um, Dr. Lincoln, and don't take Dr. Lincoln's class. Dr. Lincoln is very unusual. Uh, I heard all kinds of, of stories about this person. So being a 17 year old, it was fairly rebellious. When I went to orientation, guess whose class I signed up for? Dr. Lincoln's. And that was the first class I ever walked into in my college career, first college class of my life. Uh, it was really early morning class. And uh, the first day of class, I thought, wow, Dr. Lincoln is kind of unusual. Uh, definitely marches to the beat of her own drum. But uh, throughout the semester, I got to know her um, a lot better. Uh, it was interesting because, uh, and this could be a topic for another video, um, how much do I have to write, like if I write a paper, do I have to align this with a professor's viewpoints? Um, should I lie to align with a professor's viewpoints? And we probably all have some uh, thoughts on that. And like I say, I don't want to do an uh, injustice to that topic and, and sell it short. I think that topic could <laughs> definitely have its own video. But uh, me, um, you know, coming from a Christian background, I am a Christian, and I have heard at the very at least Dr. Lincoln was not, but uh, I was like, oh, well, what the heck? So when I wrote in papers, I made no bones about my beliefs and this really crazy thing happened. Dr. Lincoln uh, gave me A's in my papers. And I attribute some of it to at least on my part attempting to not be obnoxious about my beliefs, just saying, hey, this, this is where I believe, this is where I come from. And I think Dr. Lincoln appreciated that. And I know uh, between, I ended up taking Dr. Lincoln later on too, but I know around the community, again, it was a small community, I would see her here and there, and um, even running into her at the, the gym and, and things like that, having conversations and realizing that yes, her and I do agree on things and, uh, and, and disagree on some things, but just not, not being obnoxious about it, I think really uh, led to us having a very good working relationship as far as that goes. Um, I took a literature class later on with Dr. Lincoln and it was British literature, uh, Beowulf and things like that. And unfortunately not even Dr. Lincoln could make that interesting, but <laughs> which I attribute to the subject area, not uh, Dr. Lincoln, because she was still very, uh, very interesting. And uh, a lot of years went by and I would occasionally think of Dr. Lincoln. I would rarely, if ever, speak to Dr. Lincoln. And I actually went back and worked at this university for a very short period of time and got to be a colleague of Dr. Lincoln's. And it was really neat to reconnect for a little bit. And not long after that, uh, Dr. Lincoln uh, kind of unexpectedly passed away. I was very uh, sad to, to hear about that. But um, really, the moral of the story is um, get to know people, get to know what they're about. Uh, don't judge on appearances. Don't judge because someone told you something about the person. Person, uh, get to know them, treat them as an individual, give them the same courtesy that you would want to have. Uh, universities are full of interesting and colorful individuals. Uh, I, I don't know if I'm out of line to say individuals that may not fit in necessarily other places can find a safe um, refuge at a university. And, and if, if you're at a university, uh, sooner or later you'll run into someone whose beliefs you definitely do not agree with. Uh, that doesn't mean you can't at minimum have a good working relationship with that person. If it's a professor, a you know, classmate, or whoever, uh, you can get along. And, it, and I, this is crazy. It's okay to be friends with someone that you have different views with. Yes. Did he say that? Yeah, it's true. Um, just give, you know, give people the benefit of the doubt. Be kind. Treat people the way you want to be treated. You might be surprised. Uh, how your circle of friends uh, and allies uh, really grows if you do that. So that's my experience with Dr. <laughs> Lincoln, and um, hopefully uh, you'll take that to heart. Hopefully it's beneficial. So thank you once again for joining me on Denny Talks About College. Come back soon, and we'll chat about some more college.